So I was at a garage sale talking to a lady and it's not a lie, it's definitely true. I don't know much about video games, so don't be a yo-yo and look out for yo-yo. What is up YouTube, it's Tuesday and that means it's time for another What's Old video. And this may be the biggest, widest, strangest variety of stuff that I've sold on the internet in a long time. And what does that mean for you? Well, wide variety equals big opportunity. That's more chances for you to see something that maybe you didn't know about. Stuff that you can be on the lookout for when you're out hitting up thrift stores or garage sales. So let's get into it. These are Birkenstock leather clogs. They're not in great condition. The soles are pretty worn. There's scuffs on the front there. I guess you guys can see that, not real sure. But I, they were only 350 at a little mom and pop thrift store, so I couldn't turn them down. Listed them, and they sold in like two weeks on eBay for 30 bucks. So be on the lookout for Birkenstocks, even in not so great condition. You guys may remember last week, I told you that I've been selling a lot of University of South Carolina Gamecocks gear, especially vintage stuff. Well, here's another vintage sweatshirt. It's made in the USA. I think it's from the 90s. Paid $2 for it from a little thrift store and it sold for 30. Pretty cool sale. So I had an estate sale and I see this lady looking through a stack full of original PlayStation games. And I don't know much about video games, I just know that sometimes they can be valuable. I heard her tell her husband she didn't want all of them, so I asked if I could look through them. And I ended up with five of them. Didn't really know what I had, but I paid $25 for five. And this one just sold. This is Gundam Battle Assault. It sold for 30 bucks on eBay in less than a week. So this is a pair of Merrill Burnt Rock like, hiking shoe. And you hear a lot of people talking about Merrill and how they're a good brand to be on the lookout for and they bring good money. And it's not a lie. It's definitely true. But not all Merrills are created equal. I actually found two pair the other day at a Goodwill and you'll see that in a future video. But I looked them up and one pair had no sell through rate. There were none that had sold. And another pair, when they do sell, they sell for like $10. So not all Merrills are created equally. I paid $3 for these at a little church thrift store and they sold for $32.50. So this is a decent pair to be on the lookout for. So I'm at a garage sale and this lady has this big box of yo-yos and I grabbed them for 50 cents a piece. They were all pretty old and they were new sealed in a package. Thought maybe I'd get 10 or $12 a piece. Well, I actually ended up paying 50 cents a piece for them and this one just sold. This is a Bandai Yomega Hyper Warp from 1999, still sealed in the original package, and it just sold for $35. So don't be a yo-yo and look out for yo-yos. They apparently bring pretty good money. Even some older golf clubs sell pretty well. This Callaway Heavenwood, this is a 7-wood, is a pretty popular model. I paid 89 cents for it from Goodwill and it sold for 40 bucks. This is a pair of Dan Post square toe work boots called Work Welt. I believe I paid $7 for these from the Salvation Army and they sold for $57.50 on eBay. I honestly thought they'd bring a little bit more but they've been listed for like a month or so. Finally got a decent offer so decided to take it. It's also not shipping very far. It's going from South Carolina to North Carolina so that's going to save me some money too. So pretty good. This was a new brand for me. I told you guys about it in my last video when I picked these up from Salvation Army. This is the original Muck Boot Company. Definitely be on the lookout for these. The sell through rate on eBay is over 200%. That means if you find them, they're gonna sell pretty quick. I only paid $6.99 for these and they sold for $72.50 in less than a week. Can't beat it. So this funny looking contraption is actually a CD player and it's a Bose, which we all know is a good brand. But you actually hook this up to one of the Bose uh, wave radios. We've got the cords here. It hooks up to the back of the wave radio, turns it into like a three disc CD changer. The bad thing is I had no way to test this. I, I kept holding on to it, holding on to it, hoping that I would find a, a wave radio because if I could find out that this thing works, it sells for over a hundred bucks. 
but it was time to clean out the death pile. I'd only paid $5 for it from Goodwill. I listed it and it actually sold for $77 and I listed it for parts of repair, no returns, not working, untested. And like I said, still sold for 77 bucks in about a week. So I was at a garage sale talking to a lady and she had this overcoat or trench coat sitting there. It's 100% wool and it's vintage. It's made in West Germany. Thought it was pretty cool. She only wanted $5 for it, so I grabbed it. Brought it home, listed it. It's made by a company called Load and Fry. I'd never heard of them before, but they're pretty popular. Listed it and it sold in like a month for $79.99. Not too bad for a $5 buy. So anytime you see one of these older radios and it's got more than one dial on it, you at least want to look it up. I mean, like seriously, Realistic is not a very high-end brand, but this radio still sold for good money. And it sold for parts because I have no idea whether that actually works or not. It, it powers on, it, I hear static, but I wasn't able to actually tune anything in. Paid $5 for it from a garage sale. The guy said he didn't know whether it worked or not, but it turned out pretty good because it sold through the global shipping program for $84.50. So if you don't know about Rothy's, definitely be on the lookout. I finally found a pair, which means I finally sold a pair. Paid $6.50 for these, and they look brand new. Like, there's no wear on the bottom at all. Had them listed for $105, spent a couple weeks, finally got offered for $90, $6.50 into $90. Decided to take it. Not too bad. Definitely be on the lookout for Rothy's. So this is definitely one of the more random things that I've ever found at Goodwill. It's a Whelan Guardian Mini Light Bar. It's a rotating strobe light and it's halogen, which is kind of strange because everything's moved to LED now. I'm not sure why somebody would actually want this, but they did. And to be honest, there wasn't a lot of info on it. This particular model, I actually had to go to Terapeak to go back to see the last sold. And that one sold for 70 bucks plus shipping. I listed this one for 98.50 free shipping and it actually sold within a week for that and I had some fun testing it too it actually looked pretty cool up on top of the Forerunner so I sold this monstrosity this is a front end or a grill for a Jeep Wrangler I only paid ten dollars for it at a garage sale and it's definitely got some nicks and scratches it's used and it still sold for $165 